All right, everyone, welcome to episode of the DevOps show. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to deploy my personal blog. So basically, I'm using something called Astro. Uh, and Astro is a static site builder. And there is a template that comes with Astro. It's called Astro Paper. And this is kind of like what it looks like. If you were interested, you can actually go in and, you know, generate one of these blogs yourself and then add your own content. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the infrastructure. So I have, um, so I'm using a tool called Opsmaru here. And basically there's an infrastructure builder. And basically that's what I'm going to be using. So I have an infrastructure here that is already provisioned. So as you, you can see here, it says my platforms here. So if I load it, you can see I have a VPC set up. Um, there is a compute block over here. You can sign up for a free account and try this out for yourself. So essentially what it does is, you know, it, it generates uh, Terraform code for you and you can then basically run this on your Terraform cloud or any other Terraform runner you have out there that you want to use. And it pretty much does all the hard labor of setting everything up for you. So I've already done all of this. Um, so all I'm going to do is, I, and I've already got an application deployed on this uh, DigitalOcean platform. So I'm going to deploy a second application. That's my uh, my blog. So you can provision one infrastructure and deploy uh, more than one app to it. All right. So let's um, let's dig a little bit deeper and go into the application configurator. So I've got my personal blog here. As you can see, um, you know this is. We can check out the repo here. So this is the repo that I'm going to be using. It's artellectualzaxery.dev. So I'm going to hit, hit configure here. And as you can see here, there's already a preset for um, Astro Static. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to use the latest node uh, JS and hit next. So what this is going to do is it's going to tell me, uh, it's going to give me all the configuration that's necessary um, to basically deploy this application. Um, and as you can see here, you know, it's already pretty much given me all the config. Um, and it tells me also I need to add, you know, a caddy file to it, right? So it's using caddy as the web server. So since this is a static uh, server, I'm going to need some kind of server to do the static uh, serving. So as you can see here, it's given me the configuration for caddy file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop and into then my... Basically, all I'm going to do is, so this is my repository here. Uh, I'm just going to add a new file uh, and then caddy file and I'm going to hit paste. So I just literally just copied and pasted the code from here um, and then I'm going to do a next over here. So uh, what this is going to do is it's going to generate. So you can see here it's giving me the example configuration. So here it's going to generate installer.yaml and it's going to generate my deployment workflow for GitHub. So those I'm going to I'm going to let this tool do that generation for me. So I'm going to hit next over here and I'm going to click let's go. All right. So um it's created the pull request. So if I go back to my repository here, I hit reload. And you can see here I've got a pull request here um telling me that, you know, I've got changes uh requested. So I if I'm happy with this, you know, after reviewing it, I can just pretty much hit merge. So, yep. So the only thing that's missing from here is a caddy file, uh, but I can add that later. Uh, so I'm going to hit merge over here and let's pull the changes. So if I pull this change, it's basically going to, um, you know, give me all the code that was merged, including the build configuration. So there we go. We got that build configuration. And now I have my caddy file. I'm going to do a stage and add caddy config. I'm going to hit push and that's pretty much it. That's all I need to do to get this app deployed. So once I take a look again, there you go. Add caddy config is right there. Um, actually, so I'm going to cancel this particular workflow because, you know, what's the point of building two? All right. So now it's starting to build so we can actually see the whole build process. So the workflow is very simple. Uh, everything gets built on on GitHub. So we're using um, GitHub Actions. And then basically it gets pushed and deployed to Opsmaru. And then from Opsmaru, I'm going to show you how to actually, you know, do the actual deployment. 
there it is. So Astro is building successfully, as you can see here. All right, that's the push right there. It's all looking really good. All right, so it's already detected the deployment over here. So if I click configure deployment, I should be able to see this page, which is uh, the ability to create a new installation. So I have my master branch here. So what I can do is select this and select the web static site server. And here I'll see the cluster. So over here I've got, this is my digital ocean instance that I generated using the infrastructure builder. Uh, and so I'm gonna click choose that cluster and I'm gonna hit next. All right, so here is where I can add my uh, domain. So for example, here I can add my domain and it'll tell me that, you know, I need to point my A record for my domain. All right, so I've got my um, DNS configured. As you can see here, when I click validate, it's showing me a green check. I can hit next, go to configure installation. And you can see that it's already deployed my blog. So now we can just go to zacksiri.dev. All right, so all I did was just waited, you know, a couple of seconds for the DNS and all to propagate. And here I am. If you'd like to learn more about Offsmoo, check out offsmoo.com. We also have a documentation section, which gives you a lot more detail in terms of the inner workings and how you can actually use this for your own projects. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to having you try it out.